Yo, what's up, homies? Welcome back. So, today, we're gonna do Overwatch Sunday. Yeah, I know, this is Tuesday, but that's simply because... Reason. Okay, guess what? We are on DDoS 2. Suspect is actually heading into the B-side. Only one round into the game. He's pushing the B-side. Pushes through, doesn't check corners. He only has a 5-7. Going directly into T-spawn. Okay, what's up with that staring, though? Um, let's go with the fact that he doesn't have a max. I think, yep, that that he definitely does not have any a max whatsoever. He's now pushing short. Maybe he doesn't even have like wall axe. Maybe just the enemy team was sold here as fudge, and that's why he got reported. Doesn't seem like this suspect in question right here actually has any kind of axe at the moment. Didn't pre aim at any of the enemies. I'm really starting to think that he just got reported because the enemy team was. Okay, that was kind of weird, but it's a w still nothing really that fishy. I mean, yeah, that was definitely a weird headshot, but let's give him the benefit of the doubt. And the round ends with the terrorist saving in B-side. That was kind of a pre-fire, but that's understandable considering that he knows that there is someone, someone short. I would have done the same. Doesn't seem like he's actually hacking so far. Or maybe he's really good at hiding it. Like, you see, that... Someone that would have had walls, it wouldn't have pushed that. CTEs are still winning. Okay. Okay. Now I'm confused because up until the beginning of this round, I would have said this guy just got reported because the enemy team was, you know, salty as fuck. But after those two shots, I mean, it's understandable, they're doable. But for a guy that is not even able to control an AK spray, either he's really good at hiding his axe or he's just a weird player. Now he knows that there is someone there and he gets the shot. Nothing really fishy there. Apart from the two really weird shots. At the beginning, basically, at the beginning of the third round, in which he got like two or three people just by staring through mid, exactly just like he's doing right now. Apart from those two, nothing else is like fishy. I genuinely don't think that this guy is actually hacking. I think this is actually the first event, the first time in which we actually get someone that got reported just because the enemy team was sold. Usually, People that get reported, chances are they're, you know, fairly blatant cheaters. The kind of people that just tear through the wall and just see the enemy go through the B-side and just gets like a straight up headshot. This doesn't kind of, you know, normal. I don't know what to think about it. I think that since there is no evidence beyond reasonable doubt, I think we're actually gonna go with insufficient evidence. He didn't even like grief the enemy team or his team. I don't get it. This guy was just fairly clean. Second Overwatch of the day, first time that I actually got an Overwatch on Mirage, one of my favorite maps. The CTs are actually winning 4-1, to one, and apparently they all decided to push mid. The What the fuck is the enemy team doing? The, the, the enemy team... Okay... What is the... Oh god, I think that the enemy team, I think that the T's have something like 3 bots. And only two actual players. This is such a weird overwatch. Just like usual, he decides to go ahead with his friend Toucan to push mid. He gets a straight up headshot on that guy that was standing still. Nothing fishy. Still, nothing that can, I can actually... I don't get it. CTs are playing extremely weird. They're flashing each other's, they're killing each other's. And they just keep on pushing straight up mid. It seems like they have no desire of appreciating their lives. Decides to push second mid. Sees a couple. Okay, that was a weird headshot. Understandable headshot. Understandable. Understand yeah, I think that the enemy team is basically 60% bots. There are a fuck ton of enemies right there. And the round is over. I am genuinely sold on the fact that the enemy team just reported them out of, you know, being salty. What probably happening is that in the first two rounds he got something like a nace and the enemy team was extremely salty, probably got extremely bad teammates the two, and so they decided to basically go ahead and kick half of the team and now they're stuck with three bots and two normal players and 
Wow. I, or maybe this guy is just like a smurf because it seems like CTs are actually playing against, I don't know, like silver ones? That was just weird. Well, I guess this is it for today. Apparently, my Counter Strike generally hates Overwatch because now it's crashing. Nonetheless, I hope you had a beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you all for watching, and bye bye. <laughs>